And everybody back again. I'm back again with another video. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I just want to say thank y'all for 1K. I always say thank y'all for 1K. And we're going to get right into it. Y'all see the title. I'm just going to teach y'all how to install graphics filters, PP filters, and Pure. Now, I'm not going to tell you where to get these files, where to get any files. Google it. Go on Reddit, go on Yahoo, go on any search engine you know, and you will find a set of Corsa mods. So we're just going to get straight to the point. Basically, once you download a graphics filter or a PP filter, this is going to be the filter over everything, how everything looks in your game. So let's say you download this filter right here, which is C13H. A lot of people use this filter. You might see it on some of your favorite TikTokers. What you want to do for a filter, a PP filter, is left click now you want to have seven zip if you don't have seven zip link in the description everybody uses seven zip i use seven zip you want to go seven zip open archive now you see these two folders right here cool and once you do that if you're using seven zip this will pop up now this is opening the folder and you see these two folders right here extension and system so now what you're gonna want to do is find your set of course of root folder and if you don't know how to do that you simply open up content manager i'm teaching y'all this in real time so pay attention you can follow along exactly with what i'm doing you want to open up content manager you want to come to settings content manager general and this is your set of course of root folder right up here a set of course of folder steam library steam apps common a set of course of and you can open it. This is your Assetto Corsa root folder. So now if you open up 7-zip, move it out the way, and you take your Assetto Corsa root folder, you will see system extension is the same extension and system over here. That's how you know you're in the right place. This path in 7-zip will always correspond with this path up here. It's common Assetto Corsa extension system. You wanna highlight these two and you wanna drag and drop into the blank space over here. Now I'm not gonna do it because I just got my settings all back correct, so I'm not gonna try to mess anything up, but you wanna highlight these two, drag and drop over here, and that's how you install PP filters. Now once you install the PP filter, you're gonna say, where do I go to turn it on? Where can I select different ones at? You open up your content manager, settings, up here, a set of Corsa video right here, post processing. You're gonna wanna click filters and scroll through all the ones you have. I'm not gonna show you every single one I have, but this is the one I'm using currently. So if you want your graphics to look just like mine and I just updated them, this is what I'm using. So now you might be asking, okay, that's my PP filter, but how do I install graphics like Soul or Pure? I recommend using Soul for beginners. But if you download Pure, you find a Pure file, it's very simple. Every Soul or Pure file, if you open it up, what you're going to want to do with this is not use 7-zip. You're going to want to take this, extract it to your desktop. Now, I have 7-zip, so I would simply just open it in 7-zip. I would do this, and I would copy it to my desktop. Once you copy it to your desktop, it should pop up looking like this. You want to double click and open this file. Once you open this file, if it's a legit version of Pure and Soul, it should have an install Pure and uninstall Pure. Uninstall Soul, install Soul slash Pure. You're going to want to click install Pure. It will run a script and then it will tell you to hit any key to continue. Now I'm not gonna do this because I just did it for myself, but it's that simple. You double click this, it installs itself, it runs a script, and then you click any key to continue and you will be perfectly fine. Now to activate Pure, what you're gonna wanna do is a set of Corsa, open up Content Manager, Settings, Custom Shaders Patch, and you're gonna wanna scroll down on the left to Weather Effects. Your weather style should be Pure. Might be soul or it might be default depending on what you use before this you want to select pure and that's it so once you join the server you get in here you're playing the subtle closer you have your pure loaded up you have your pp filter loaded up 
what you're gonna wanna do is come over here to the right side of your screen, click in your apps. You're gonna scroll down to find Pure Config. And this is where you can change all your peer settings to have your game looking amazing. Now, if you combine everything I just told you with my graphics video, which I will always link in my description on any type of how-to video, I will always link it in my description. If you combine everything I just told you with my graphics video, your graphics should come out looking just like mine. Now, there's still a few tweaks because I messed mine up, but at the moment, I cannot say I'm not happy with my graphics. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what y'all want to see next. We're just going to throw some clips out of here with my new graphics. Shout out, Sad Realism.